Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to be changing the screw hole in this hybrid. Now this has been made in ExoCAD and there's a few errors in the mesh structure. I'm going to go into the 3D print toolbox and then we're going to check them all. Tab to edit. Then we're going to expose the, the bad mesh geometry. Here we can see that these are all intersecting um, faces. They, these are no good. But the number one enemy is the, are the non-manifold edges. Now you have to look carefully to find them. Like here for example, these are non-manifold edges. And these are quite common in uh, ExoCAD meshes and this is um, not good geometry at all and they can create many many problems. Now we're going to fix this. Go into the model designer tab to get out of edit mode. Go and click sculpt and there we're going to set this to about 10 and we're going to gently gently sculpt away those edges like that. That's it. Exit. Swivel it over all the way. Look at it from the top. Perfect. Tab, Alt A, Vertex Select Mode, C key, Mouse Wheel, like that. Right click, Control Plus, to grow your selection, swivel it across to the other side, C key again, C key mouse wheel button down, like that, C key mouse wheel button down, perfect. Hit the P key and click on selection. Now we've separated the two mesh structures, perfect. Hide this one for now, H to hide, look at this one tab, Look at it from the top in transparent mode. C key, mouse wheel, right click, X, delete the faces. Yeah, if you delete the faces, you will not have all these vertices coming out of the side. In the model designer, click on fill holes. Out of transparent mode, sculpting, right click, set your radius, and give it a quick smooth like that. Do the same for the tooth. Perfect. Exit. Now, Alt H to unhide, H to hide the hybrid, choose your interface tab, shift Alt left click to select that rim, F to make a face. This is exactly what we want. Notice that the point of origin is over there. Right click, set, set origin to center of mass like that. Go to the crown module. In the crown module, go all the way to the implant crowns and click on this one here. Select one abutment and make tube and then accept. Now we've got a screw hole coming out there. Alt H to unhide. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select your hybrid and we're going to click on generate implant fixture and then we're going to wait for it. Now I'm going to zoom in close so that you guys can see how beautiful this is. How amazing is that? Tab, let's have a look at the mesh structure. Alt A to deselect. Now we're going to click on smooth with protection. Right click. You can see how everything is protected and we can give it a beautiful smooth finish. Briefly, I'm going to compare this mesh structure to the other mesh structure made in ExoCAD. So this is a blender for dental. 
mesh structure and we're going to go to the Exacad mesh structure to compare the two mesh structures and here we've got this line running like that and this one we've got some mesh structure that looks a little bit different and then the blender for dental mesh structure perfect couldn't be better now let us make the hole going through it select it and click on 30 degrees we're going to add a few more uh, very soon because the dynamic implants go up to 45 degrees which is absolutely incredible slide to the z-axis like that Let's look at it in transparent mode and then set this up now we can make this a little bit smaller but you need to check how what your diameter of your screw is just to make sure that the screw channel is not too small or too big select it and we're going to see the magic happen now so select fixture and cut hole how amazing is that okay i'm going to hide the screw channel the cutter and let's inspect what the blender for dental mesh structure look like so note we've got the supportive ring going all the way around to make sure that it's not too sharp and nothing can chip away this is about 0 0.2 millimeters we can look down the hole and your screwdriver is going to fit down down there into the screw also note what the geometry looks like on the inside of the screw hole let's compare that to the others of the, of the other one so this is what the other screw hole which is not been made in blender for dental here like that and let's have a look here at this one so there's a remarkable difference between the B4D mesh structure. Finally, we're going to check the mesh one more time, check all in the 3D print toolbox in Blender. So tab to go into edit mode, let us have a look at the intersecting faces. Note that the B4D have absolutely zero intersecting faces and the mesh structure is totally totally perfect tab to get out of it and that's all folks thanks for watching okay bye